All right, one hundred one seems to be too easy. Let's try two hundred and three. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, delete everything that we have here, and this time we try two hundred and three. Now that sounds like it's twice as difficult as one hundred and one, but it's not really twice as difficult. Two hundred and um, two two hundred three divided by two is mm, something with a remainder of one okay and you know I guess we can be a little bit more precise here 101 with a remainder of one um, we try the next prime number which is three um, 203 divided by three is oh it's 60 seven with a remainder of two. All we care is the remainder is zero or not. In, in this case, we know for sure it is not going to be zero. 203 divided by five, which is the next prime number, is 40 with a remainder of three. Once again, the important part is it is a non-zero remainder. 203 divided by the next prime number, is, which is seven is what? 203 divided by 7 is 220 let's see 26 ah my math is not is rusty okay 1463 divided by 7 is 9 no, my math cannot be right. Okay, 63 divided by 7. No, that cannot be. That cannot. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, this is um, 63 divided by 7 is 29 with a remainder of 0. And we have just proven that 203 is not a prime number it is a factor it has a factor of 7 and uh, 29 i just could not convince myself that uh, 203 is a composite number but it is it is a, a composite number we only have to try it all the way up to 7 yeah, that's way too easy